Yeah. But one of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, car robbing stories ever happened in LA. And a friend of mine, he lived on the sixth apartment and the elevator was really, really low, right? This was in downtown LA. And what would happen is like, he'd be on the sixth floor and you could see his cars parked down below. One day they stole the battery. So when I replaced the battery, a week later or two weeks later, they stole the alternator, went back, replaced the alternator. Over a period of seven or eight weeks, they stole little bits and pieces. And then he, of course, replaced everything. When the car was working well, it was quiet. A week later, they stole the whole car because they were looking to see what needs to be fixed. And they would take that. Right? <laughs> and he said he could see them. But the elevator was so slow that he couldn't do shit about it. He could yell at them, leave my car alone. And they figured once the car's fixed, we'll take it. That is genius car car thief. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is easily the most impressive car thief story I've ever I, heard I in love my life. That story. <laughs> Really? And then is, talk about making it your own, and here we are. Well, here we are combining Pete's stories with Dennis' stories. We're talking about uh, how to create the Mona Lisa in your performance. And Dennis, you were doing that in a way, and Pete, your robbers were doing that in they, a way. They, they, yeah, they took a, a they took a simple scene of stealing a car and made it their own. And they <laughs> they saw everything that was wrong, 